Hello there, it's Bailey. I'm in your mathematics investigations class. Um, I was selected for the MP3 collaborative presentation. Unfortunately though, I'm not able to reach out to any of my partners, so I'm gonna have to do it solo this time. I will be sure to have them, you know, reach out for the next one just to make sure that we are doing it collaboratively. Um, one of them did reach out tonight and I was like, there's no chance I'm gonna turn this in late. So if I get docked points for this, that's that's okay. I just didn't wanna turn it in late. Um, but I got selected for the Math Practice 3 collaborative presentation um, and we'll just go ahead and get started here. Um, my Math Practice 3, it's construct viable arguments and critique the reasonings of others. Um, in my resource that I found, um, it states, it is said that a task that naturally pulls children to explain is a how many ways can you assignment, um, and I have my resource there as well. I think that that is really a great point to bring up because I know a lot of students rely on that, um, and I also have my example as well um, that I also got from my resource. Um, saying how many ways can you make 28 cents or comparing two arguments consider instructing the students with this rigorous task how many ways can you make 28 cents without using dimes or quarters um, I think that would be like a super logical way for students to um, truly uh, break apart like pennies um, nickels and things like that so they can fully get engaged with um, how that that will truly work um, I think that that was a really good example for me to use. Um, I also listed reasonings and why it's important. Um, proficient students can justify their conclusions, communicate them to their peers, and respond to the debates of others. Using the correct philosophy, if there is a blemish, then they can analyze it and correct it. Um, constructing the debates using concrete reference, such as objects, drawings, diagrams, and, and actions. Um, in a later slide, you'll notice that I um, made sure to put down like a hands-on activity that they, that they could do. Um, and then also like, since this is an online class, I figured, you know, that there could be like an online activity that they could use using money and currency and how adding and separating that money can be really beneficial in the future. Um, I also found that this was fun. Um, it's interesting to note the way children learn language is similar to mathematics, is by producing it as well as by hearing it used. Um, I feel like that's really a big piece of why we have the Math Practice 3, because it is a lot of talking and getting like their point of view. Um, I really found that that was interesting. Um, so we'll keep going here. For my SIP model, you'll see too, um, my allow for hands-on learners to use plastic materials that represent the coins. Um, with that too, I did find a really fun activity on Pinterest of this educator that used um, like Starbucks in her classroom. Um, she was like dressed up in an apron and had the currency like credit cards and coins and like fake money for the students to buy stuff with as they were understanding the currency. Um, and then the my other strategy that I found that was cool is that I could have like groups of kids like um, shopping around um, as well. Um, and then another demonstration that I thought would be fun is if I told them, you know, how many ways can you break apart a hundred dollars and you know tell them you know you like it's more beneficial it's smarter for people to have um four or sorry five twenties instead of a hundred dollar bill just because it's kind of hard to break a hundred like especially in a store if you wanted to shop um i think that would be really important to note um so for my critical um, incident, I think I kind of failed in the fact that I didn't ex um, bring up any exceptionalities just because I think it would be appropriate to have a co-teacher there, have a co-teacher present, so um, 
she is able to assist me in a way that is more beneficial for the students that need the more the, the extra help. Um, another thing um, that I noticed as well, um, let's go back here. Um, Yeah, so um, you'll notice too, I'll upload this PowerPoint. Um, I included a lesson that this uh, educator used. She was um, had a whole class discussion. Um, she was having them uh, do like plotted points for all the volunteers, like the plotted points for the students. Um, she would call on a student that would have wanted to answer. Um, they would have little feedback um, you know, like really proper, nice feedback, not like cruel or mean. Um, I think it's really interesting. She used string to like kind of create right triangles. Um, I think that would be a really nice way to also look at it. Um, and I also in the reflection brought up the hundred dollar bill breaking into twenties. Um, so to end this, I think it's really appropriate to um, have this collaborative presentation because it is important to have students understand that feedback is important. Um, it's not any way to make anybody feel bad. Um, I think that it's truly a appropriate way for students to be engaged and involved um, in group activities. Um, I really enjoyed this. I um, hope that this is okay. Um, my reflection is there at the end and so are my resources that I have. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know um, and I will be sure to reach out to my partners as well and let them know that I did decide to go solo on this. Um, thank you. Um, and I hope you enjoy. I will make sure I include this PowerPoint as well. I know this is really confusing for you. Um, thank you, and I'm sorry again. I hope you have a good spring break. Thanks.